Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to share with you uh, two STEM batch projects that we have developed at the University of La Coruña with teachers and students from a um, high school in our city. Uh, our aim was uh, for, uh, for one side to introduce the, the high school students in, in science, in astronomy in particular, uh, uh, showing them uh, somehow uh, the way science is done by, by scientists. So, I mean, uh, illustrating the, the scientific uh, steps to get a, a result. And for that, uh, we use uh, Gaia data as an opportunity to, to show them not only uh, concepts uh, rather complex in astronomy, but also to use tools like uh, big data tools, uh, a Jupyter notebook, uh, programming, and so. So it has a, a, a two sides interest, uh, for one side astronomy and for the other big data uh, science. Uh, the first project was uh, dedicated to study the properties in open clusters. We chose two very close by open clusters, the Pleiades and Presepe. And uh, we showed the students how to get the data from Gaia Archive, how to select the stars that belong to the, to, to the cluster by showing the distributions of their parallaxes and proper motions, uh, make the filtering, and then uh, once the, the, the cluster star were selected, uh, to study the distributions of colors and magnitudes from, from, with data from the archive. And then plot an HR diagram uh, and use an isochrome to fit the, 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 the sequence of, of, of stars. Uh, uh, you have to be aware that we choose a uh, rather easy to handle with uh, open clusters, which I have almost no extinction at all, so it, it is very easy to fit the, the isochrons. And once this is done, the students can uh, have a look to the physical properties of, of, of the stars in the cluster, to the temperatures, to the masses, uh, to the luminosities, and uh, using the positions, the uh, parallaxes, and for the stars that uh, with, with radial velocity, we also show them how to share, how to make a simul a, a films, a small a pictures of, 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 of those data. For instance, I, I'm going to show you some of these plots. In this figure, they show in a 3D Diagram uh, the stars plotters in different colors according to uh, the tidal radius. This other shows the distribution of temperatures, and this other shows the 3D motions of the of the star belonging to to the Pleiades in time. Okay? We projected the the velocities in time, so they they can they can see how the stars move and how the cluster is becoming more dispersed. The other, the other project we have uh, developed second year uh, has to do with uh, stellar parametrization from uh, RBS uh, Gaia spectra that, as you know, is not yet available because it will be published for the first time uh, with DR3, but we use a RAVE a survey spectra, which, are, which is very similar to to RBS, and they uh, uh, try to make the students understand what, what is the meaning of a stellar spectra, how it is obtained, what is the information that is contained in the spectra from a physical and chemical point of view. Um, once they, they understand these concepts, we, uh, uh, they are able to, to get a, a grid of a synthetic spectra and we use a tool of uh, machine learning, with, which is a artificial neural network, a simple percentron to train the, the synthetic grid. And then once trained, 
uh, use the, the algorithm to parameterize uh, uh, real uh, spectra for on stars. And at the end, uh, they, they get control what? Control T. I, I don't remember how to put the full screen here. Control H. L. L, sorry. Because it, the figures are very small. Uh, they analyze the results in a KL diagram, uh, which shows the, the stars in, in, temp in temperatures and luminosities. Uh, well, in this case, uh, the logarithms of the gravities. So they, they are able to understand that uh, main sequence stars are located in, a, in, a, in an area of this diagram, while uh, the giants are, are located in the most uh, uh, luminous part of, of the diagram with, with, the, with the highest uh, gravities. And that's all. Uh, we, have, uh, we think we have a achieve our goal and they, they were very engaged with the, with the project. This is a photo with some of the students uh, of the last year uh, from, from the high school. And I think that this, this has been a very good experience, not, on, not only for the students and, and for, for us, but also for the teachers at the high school. So I encourage everybody to get involved in this kind of initiative to share science with, with uh, high school students. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vinay. <laughs> Any comments or questions? Josefina? I would like to know how many people centers participate in this uh, project? Uh, this initiative started in Galicia, in our uh, research, in our area. Uh, in 2018, and it has been growing from that. At the beginning, they were less than 20 high schools, and now they are more than 100. And uh, this is a good point for, for, the, for the school, for their success rate. Uh, it is a pity that this kind of experience uh, do not represent an extra uh, value for <coughs> the university access for the students in Spain, but uh, in any case, uh, our objective was to encourage these uh, scientific careers or interests in the. But in Coruña, how many centers? More than 100. Oh. In Galicia, not in Coruña. No, sorry. In Coruña, in, in, ah. in Coruña I don't know. <laughs> but maybe ah, so you two ten or twenty. Or this, uh, yes, this is uh, this. This has been organized by the Junta de Galicia, so it is all over Galicia, not only in Colombia. Okay, thank you. Over there, yes? Uh, the question is about diagrams. Because uh, the university is tasked with the diagram construction of the main sequence stars, are in principle like all the other projects in the project? Well, uh, in principle, this uh, initiative is open to all students. They, they have to follow a procedure uh, uh, in the first years, which is the two years before they finish high school and they enter the university, uh, in first years of bachelor, they have to start uh, the project with uh, getting some extra knowledge uh, from uh, statistics and also from pro programming. So they get prepared to, to, to develop this project in the second year. And we made some introducing lessons in astronomy and Python for them in order to, to start working with the data. So uh, we make a selection of students. The school, in fact, is doing that. And they, they follow these two years uh, long uh, uh, progress to, to arrive to the final project. Okay, there's another question over there. In your particular project, how many students can participate in this project? Let's say we have a group of eight hundred people from Spain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, females are more or less. Have a, have a high level. Females are more or less half, uh, half of, of the students we had. They were not too many. Uh, 
as you can see in the photo, uh, about uh, uh, adding up all the projects we have developed at, at the university. They, they, they were around 10, 10 students, not more. And for us, it, 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 it has been a long, uh, a long period of preparation. It has a lot of work to, to think about the information that we should get, give them and, and also to prepare the tools and to easy their way. Because as you know, it, the, the, the last year of the high school, they have to go through a hard examination before entering the university. So mm -hmm. they, have, they must concentrate in preparing this selectivity, we, have, we, we, we call it. So they don't have a lot of time. So we prepare more or less the, the tools for them. So it's time consuming, yeah, but very, very mm, grateful for us. Very, very. Okay, are there any comments or questions from the online participants? Uh, my question on the timeline that uh, Anna did has been replied to it. Okay, Emilio. Are, are those students uh, at the end of their high school period or no, no, not, not the last year, as uh, they have been going to the previous year. You know, because the last year is when they have the examination. Yes. Mm. It's a shorter, a short term. So uh, they are typically the voting Okay, so yeah, it's hard to to keep them for hours a day, at, 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 a week. Only two days. Uh, two days. Ah, okay, well, more or less the same with us. Uh, the year of the pandemic, we were not able to join, <laughs> to, to, to be there, but uh, this last year they came to our uh, laboratory and we worked together for several sessions. It was better than, than just working online. Thank you, Emilio. We can talk about it. Okay. Thanks, Minya. We have Sorry to move on. Late. <laughs>